Hey guys, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak. We are here at our home office in Gravenhurst, Ontario to talk about solo canoes. For 2019, I'm gonna go through the different laminate options we have first of all. So one of our most popular finishes is our Expedition Kevlar that has this nice earth tone look to it on the inside it's actually a commingle cloth of anegra and basalt. There's layers of Kevlar and pieces on the inside. There's another layer of basalt and negra. And then the exterior can have either a ruby finish, our emerald finish, our sapphire, or our clear Kevlar. These colors are all a bit darker than our Kevlar fusion because of the basalt inside darkens it up. Beautiful, striking finish. Very durable laminate. I wouldn't say it's not designed for white water, boom, 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 but you can really use it. It's for people that like to trip hard. Our most popular laminate is our Kevlar Fusion for the solo canoes. Highest strength to weight ratio. It's got Kevlar on the inside, additional layers of Kevlar and pieces in the middle. The exterior finish can have either our clear emerald, our clear ruby, the clear sapphire, all clear Kevlar, or for $150, you can get a more technical look, the Carbon Anegra H-Weave finish, which looks really cool on the solos. Now, in addition to that, we also are offering our camouflage looks this year, the wetlands or the hardwoods. You can get them on any of the laminates, carbon fusion, Kevlar fusion, or expedition Kevlar, if you want that real distinctive nature look. Now our lightest weight boats are, are ones we make with carbon fusion. So the inside of the laminate has the carbon anegra H-weave finish. The inside, or the exterior finish, has Carbon Anegra H-Weave as standard. The Carbon Fusion, beautiful look you can get with the black as well. Or the Carbon Anegra Textream finish. This finish needs to have the two-tone color on the bottom. Only available with our Carbon Kevlar trim. Beautiful, beautiful look. Here is a Ruby Kiwaden 15 and Kevlar Fusion with our standard aluminum trim finish. The aluminum trim has ABS end caps, very durable, aluminum handles, and the gunnel system is very unique. It's actually two pieces that snap together that gives us a very tight finish. We put the rivets on the inside. It's nicely rounded on the outside. You can, don't rub your hands against anything on the side when you're paddling. They also have cherry thwarts, which is put in with stainless steel hardware. Our seating system is very unique. Nice wide frame cherry seat, very comfortable to sit or kneel in. What's unique about the way we install our seats with our resin infusion process, we put a very wide rib in the middle, much wider than the seat itself it provides tremendous structural integrity to the laminate. Larger paddlers can sit on these seats and there's absolutely no movement. The structural integrity of the whole finish with the foam core, the ribbing system, the Kevlar cloth, and the resins we use, this is a great package with a great value. Here is a Kiwaden 14 in Kevlar Fusion, Sapphire over Champagne with carbon Kevlar trim and cherry interior. It's got the single height solo canoe seat. Very good for people that like to paddle with a traditional paddle, kneeling or sitting. The Kiwaden 14 really fits paddlers 120 to 200 pounds. I'm 230, I can paddle it nicely for the day. Someone that hasn't paddled as much, smaller people absolutely love it. People that like to take a dog with them, people that like to throw some gear in. It's, it's an asymmetrical shape, 
very straight keeled in the back end, beautiful day tripping and extended tripping boat. Here's the Kiwaden 15, clear Kevlar over champagne, expedition Kevlar, carbon Kevlar trim, has the carbon index, cherry handles and thwarts. This one has a couple of options in it. It's got the carbon foot bar and it's got the multi-height seat in it. Now the Kiwaden 15 ideally suits people 160, 260 pounds. I'm 230, I can paddle in it with a dog, another 40, 50 pounds of gear very easily, so it's got a lot of capacity to it. Now let me show you this really unique seat system that is so popular with our boats. Here is our multi-height seat system. Very easy to adjust the different heights. I'll clip the back parts out, push the buttons in the front, just slides right out. When I come up, I just clip these two in and then your weight will lower the back position right into place. The upper position is really comfortable. The seat's very wide frame, very comfortable to kneel with the curved bar. The seat doesn't dig into the back of your thighs at all like a straighter bar would. And then it's got real nice curve in the back of it. There's lots of room. It's a super comfortable seating system. I love it because I can paddle canoe paddle, which I grew up paddling and I absolutely love doing. And then if I want to go a little bit quicker, more efficiently, I can easily lower the seat down and use a kayak paddle. And with a kayak paddle, you actually can travel a little bit quicker. Now the Kiwaden 15 ideally suits people 150 to 240 pounds. I'm 230. I can put a lot of extra gear in it. The bubbles carried pretty far up the side. David Yost designed, it's really good in wind and waves. Kiwaden 15s are so popular and it's because of their versatility. You can do so many different things with them. Here is our Prospector 14, a brand new David Yost design in 2018. It's quickly become one of our best selling canoes. David did some really unique things with this one. Most noticeably, he brought the bubble way up the side and put a hard cut in it before with a little tuck in and tumble home. And some traditionalists have asked us, I've never seen a cedar canvas boats like this. And David says, if in the old days they could bend cedar ribs like this, they would have, because it really allows you to have a more natural paddling motion real close to the gunnel of the boat. It's so much fun to paddle. With the bubble, you can lean it way over on its side. You can really paddle in that nice traditional manner where you can spin it around when you want to. But most importantly, it's got a lot of volume. It's got tons of space in it. This is the canoe that Sean James from My Self Reliance is using for 2019. He's got a lively golden retriever, loves to take a lot of gear with him, and really will appreciate the volume and stability of this boat. This one has a beautiful emerald finish with a champagne bottom. It's got our cherry outers and deck option with the cherry interior. It's also got mounts put in it for a fishing package. This is a new feature that we're offering for this year. So many mounts can be used. This is a universal system. A GoPro, fish finder, fish rod holders. It's so easy to pop these in and snap them into place and then tighten them up and then to take them out when you want to. You can put paddle clip holders here also. There's so many different features. Our fishing package is gonna include the fish mounts and then any of the accessory items that snap in, a paddler's gonna be able to choose what they want. Now this also has the detachable cherry yoke, which is right in the balance position. When we do these yokes, we inset pins right into our gunnel put in with a urethane adhesive, super strong. This Prospector 14 also has the popular multi-height pod system. 
so it can be used beautifully in the upper seat position with a traditional canoe paddle or easily put down to the bottom for to use with a kayak paddle. This boat is really fun to paddle. Anybody looking for a solo canoe has got to try this baby out. How about this beauty? A Cruiser 16.8 solo canoe, brand new in 2018 as well, another David Yost design. Many of you may recognize the Shockwave name that won the U.S. Nationals. This is a more seaworthy version, a little bit more rocker, a little bit deeper, designed more as a tripper and fast cruiser. It's a really quick, quick boat. It won the 90-mile solo canoe race in the Adirondacks last year. Terry Kent used it. He actually beat all the race boats also. Loved it when he got in what's called Brown's Track, which is a real windy, twisty section. When you lean this boat over, it does a snap turn. It's really fun to paddle. It is designed to be used with a bench shaft paddle. It comes standard with a carbon tech package with the carbon gunnels carbon decks, carbon handles, carbon thwarts, an adjustable carbon foot bar, and a real unique seating system that's on a slider. It's all carbon, all the parts. There's not one bolt in this boat at all. It's put together really neatly. This is a Kevlar Fusion version, carbon Anegra H-weave on the outside. It's got the yellow two-tone bottom with matching yellow stickers on it, a no charge option. Now, this also is our carbon detachable yoke. Very lightweight, really snaps in and out of here really quickly. So I can mount one side, then put the other in, very quickly screw it on. A dream to paddle. This is a great day cruising boat for people that like to use bench shaft paddles that like to keep their paddle right along the side of them. There's a tremendous amount of tumble home in this design. And then also a beautiful solo for people that like to trip, cover lots of miles efficiently. This is my boat for 2019. Cruiser 16.8, c'est la vie, this is for me.